Um, so prior to my injury, my whole life evolved around extreme sports and losing that ability has been, yeah, truly heartbreaking. I like, had no interest in swimming. I didn't want to be a swimmer, um, but I've learned that actually this is something that I can do and I've learned to love it and it's given me so much happiness in return. The, the basic story is in 2018, I had a surgery on my left ankle. Due to like some kind of complication during the surgery, I got nerve damage in my, in my foot, which presents itself in excruciating pain all the time. I see my life in two halves now. So like before this injury and after, but like this is never gonna end. I have this forever. And like that's really scary because there is no like small light at the end of the tunnel. The struggle on land is very real. Like I would rather swim the channel again than try and walk around the supermarket. Like, I feel like that would be less painful and probably easier. I guess one of the most significant things that's come out of my swimming journey so far is I applied to do a English Channel Relay swim and out of hundreds of people that applied, um, I was chosen and uh, last September I got it done. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a big one under my belt. Acquiring a disability like mine has completely changed the way that I look at life and the way that I see my opportunities and um, understanding what my future could look like. I guess, like, although all this has been so hard, like one of the positives has come from me proving to myself how strong I actually am. I thought my whole world had ended and now I feel like I can be proud of myself. It's so easy to be sad and feel sorry for myself really in this situation, but like I come here and it's, it's beautiful, it's amazing and I've got the dog and I don't know, the energy feels so high that that's why I keep coming back and that's why it's so addictive.